what is up everybody my name is Jay welcome back to the channel if you haven't already take a moment subscribe to my channel so that way you know when the next videos are dropping that's like the one-liner I always got to put out there I tend to forget sometimes um, I'm gonna go ahead and make an intro for this video I'm not even a hundred percent sure this is actually going to become a video if you see this intro I mean I guess that means it became a video right <laughs> so um, it's actually kind of rainy today um, the only reason I'm actually really doing this is because I just got out of a cast, so I haven't been able to fish in the rain at all for a few months now. And I know that sounds kind of like, well, who wants to fish in the rain? But, like, it can be some good days sometimes in the rain. And it's just, like, one of those annoying little drizzles kind of thing going on. I'm still in a brace, but luckily it, you know, can withstand a little bit of rain at least. I'm not trying to get drenched or anything. But the winds are low. The weather's right as far as temperatures and everything. It seems like it could be a potentially good day. Um, so we are going to see what happens. I may try to use my new little depth finder thing that I have if I'm thinking about it. I don't know if this is the pond for it, but you know, we'll see what happens, guys. I'll take you to the water. Oh, yeah, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and turn on all your notifications so you know when the next videos are going to be dropping. Looks pretty juicy out here today. Let's see what we can bring to you. the water is right here in front of this thing here. Six point three. Look at that. Can you see the fish on the screen? See the little fish guy? telling me there's fish that's 10 foot so that's about six a little past six foot there's fish right there and it's right at the end right here at the edge of this thing right here i knew that was going to be the case but i just wanted to show you guys 48 degrees might be needing something a little moving crazy see if they're still hanging out right there Shout out to Hawkeye Electronics, by the way, for this thing. These things are pretty cool. I'm, I'm really excited to try it on a kayak. I really want to try and get in front, but this current is pulling it in so quickly that it's like not capable of... Right here. Huh. Good to 
know. Now what do they want? Yarn it. Right, guys so that's what you know that's how my fishing went today like you saw i got a big old skunk today but i did get to show you guys that uh that depth finder that i'm using now shout out again to hawkeye electronics let's talk about that for a second honestly i wanted to kind of go in a little bit more detail about you know why why do i suddenly have a depth finder when i when i bank fish well i mean the biggest reason i got it is because when i go to new ponds I don't know what I'm dealing with. I don't know the depths of it. I don't know what's down there. And honestly, dealing in the middle of the winter like this in the south, you don't know what kind of temperatures you're dealing with. You could be dealing with 50 something degree weather uh, temperature waters, or you could be dealing with 30 something degree or lower temperatures. You really don't know. You know, it all depends on how your day is gone. I mean, you can give a guesstimate. I mean, don't get me wrong. I pretty good at guessing too but you know to know the exact temperatures to know the the the, the range of depths um is beneficial the biggest thing i like about this specific one that i have is that it's handheld it literally fits in my hand it's small and i know i have it on my selfie stick and that's because it's you know it gives me makes me feel more secure with it on there but the size of it matters because i'm a bank fisherman or even a kayak angler you know you guys on the boats you guys out there y'all always you know you guys have the big ones the big computer screens i'm i'm carrying my backpack on my back i don't want something bulky big heavy something i'm not going to be able to take out and in you know easily this this little setup is perfect for my hand shows me the depth shows me the temperatures shows me the battery power and all that stuff shows me all the stuff that's in the water shows me where the fish are if i really want to know um so I would definitely recommend, you know, going and getting one of these things. It's really cool. I'll leave all the information in my, um, in the bio of this video. I think it's called the one C Hawkeye, the one C, I, uh, fi uh, fish tracks, maybe something like that. I I'll, I'll leave all the information in, in the description below. Cause I'm, I'm not a hundred percent on which one it is. I think it's what the fish tracks one C, um, 
but yeah guys I would definitely recommend going and getting one of those if you haven't already or if you haven't gotten some sort of you know depth finder for you guys on the bank it could definitely be a game changer I, I truly think it's gonna definitely change my game when I um, when I get a kayak I really think I'm gonna like use the potential out of that thing so much more I, I like it from the, the bank don't get me wrong it's cool but the potential that it has I feel like will show a lot more when I get a kayak this thing is great I'm sorry I didn't catch any fish for you guys today I hope you still enjoyed watching the video don't forget to like subscribe comment turn on all your notifications so that you know when the next video is gonna drop I am trying to bring them to you more it's cold it's rainy but I'm still out here I'm still fishing so you guys know how that goes right no complaints